to show you today how to actually um, put a cylinder head on an engine. The first step is cleaning the surface free of um, old gasket material and any kind of sealant. And, and make sure the pistons are clean and make sure there's no cracks or a lot of rust in the cylinders. After that, you need to clean the bolt holes free of any debris, grime, or thread sealer from before. And to do that, you use this, which is a refair device, and it, these little grooves here allow the dirt to escape as you turn it in. So you stick it in here, and you go like that, and you, you turn it all the way down. It's already been done for us, so I'm just showing you as an example. Okay. You can't afford new head bolts. If you can't afford new head bolts, you can use your old ones, but you have to clean the threads really good using a, a wire wheel. If you notice here, the threads are really clean, so you'll have the proper torque when you use them. Alright, the first step of putting a um, cylinder head on an engine is to place the gasket onto the motor. Make sure that the gasket does not have any creases, which will cause it to fail. To put the gasket on, you have to line it up on the dowel pins here and here. It holds the gasket in place. To do that, you make sure that the um, gasket is facing up like it's supposed to, and you put it on here like that, and then you push down, make sure it's good and tight, and make sure everything lines up. All the bolt holes line up, so I'm good. Okay, here we have the head that I'm going to be putting on the engine, and we have the bolts. If you notice, there are three different size bolts. There's long, medium, and short. The short ones go along the um, head here, and the, the, the medium-sized ones go on both ends, and the long ones go all, in all these holes here. Basically, these, this head will actually be set on the motor, and it is placed on the same dowel pin that the gasket did to hold it in place. Here is thread sealer. Well, you have to coat each bolt with thread sealer here because these bolts actually go through the, the engine into the water jacket where the water flow is to cool the motor. So if you don't properly seal the head bolts, the water will actually seep up through the bolts and into here and it will mix with the oil and it will cause premature failure of the motor. Teflon. I like to use. I like to use Teflon as a thread sealant. It's a, it's a white substance like this and you basically coat the bolts. I'll show you how to do that later. Okay, we now have um, the head placed on the dowel pin, and we have one and one bolt to actually hold it in place so it doesn't fall off. So I'm going to show you the process here of using Teflon to actually seal the thread so that the water doesn't seep up through the water jacket like I told you about earlier. This is a great product and it seals against water. It never gets hard. And it never gets hard. So there we go. It's a little bit messy. It gets nice over the threads all the way around. And then we're going to put it, this bolt goes here, stick it in, put your socket on it. Tight. I'm not going to tighten it up all the way, I'm just um, snug, snugging it down gently. The, um, once you get all the bolts snugged in, there's actually a, a pattern you have to follow in order to, to secure the head properly so that the um, gasket seals. Okay, I just um, snug these bolts down. It's really important, once again, to only go wrist tight. You don't want to torque these down yet. I have all the bolts snug and in, in their proper holes. This is actually called, a, this is a torque wrench. And this is what I'm going to use to tor tor torque this head down evenly. This is a small block 350 and there's a, a pattern in which you have to tighten the bolts up. And the pattern I'm using is, is right here. You might not be able to see it on the camera very well. Right here, this is one, two, and so on. And it's a, and it, I'm going to torque it down in three stages. It's, I'm, both, I'm going to end up at 65 foot pounds of torque. I'm going to start at 25, then go to 45, and then 65. It's very important to bring this head down evenly, so that's why I'm doing it in three stages. You take this and you adjust it down to where I want to start. This is a small torque wrench. All right, so basically, you're going to hear a click when I get to the proper torque. Click.
you notice, it looks like I'm torquing it down evenly. Okay, I got the first two rounds done, and I'm now putting it up to 65 pounds for the final torque. It's the same procedure and the same pattern. It's going to be a little bit more um, work because it's higher pounds, but I can handle it. It's 17 bolts total. And this is the last one, 17. Now the head is torqued on and is on. Thank you for watching.